Hello everybody, Mike, aka the Magico 13, here with episode 18 of the Out of This World series. As you may have remembered, the last episode we were extracting caffeine from the moon, but then it became nighttime and I needed to wait for daytime, which is going to take a very, very long time, it appears. During that time, the zoology module was finished, and so I'm going to go about launching that to the station. Now, this has space for four. I don't know who I want to actually put in here. I do want Ethan, and I'm going to put Maxim in here as well. Perhaps I will add... Um, let's add Fredless Kermit as well, and then I will leave the fourth seat empty for now. And hopefully I don't kill all of you. Because I don't think this has any sort of safety mechanism. It's going to load. There we go. So that has loaded. Um, this is going to be using the kind of cheaty method of external launch no IVA. Uh, the reason being that the IVA for this is this, which I can't really use. Um, looks like this is using... <laughs> and it's been a while since I built this. Looks like it's using real shoots to capture all of these boosters. I'm going to actually quick save right now. Uh, orbital surface vessel. Uh, and this one does not, yeah, this is not a, this is a manned launch, not a, um, unmanned. The station will be set as our target. I'm going to warp until it comes just over the horizon. And it is at an 78 kilometer orbit. Okay. Uh, are we ready? I'm going to throttle up. And let's hope that this goes properly. That's a killer thrust to weight ratio right there. 1.7 already. These outer boosters will drop first. I recall correctly, and then the, these boosters will drop a little bit afterwards. They were already up to almost two thrust to weight ratio. So this first stage is going to boot for now. There we go, drop it. Sorry about it being a night launch, it just kind of happened that way. Oh! Um... Well... That, that certainly didn't work, though I do wonder if those got... Yeah, those, <laughs> those got recovered. Uh, that was not what we wanted to do. I'm going to load the last quick save. And it looks like we're going to have to try that launch again. I'm going to have these start burning when these go off. And then time warp up. Set his target. Let's quick save now. So you guys have seen this once. I'm not going to make you watch it again. So I will probably just see you in orbit or we'll fast forward. Moment of truth. There we go. Nice. That's a break. 
All right, we are in orbit now. We still have a decent amount of fuel, 400 meters per second of delta V. Um, we need to... All we need to do is get an intercept. We are decently close, but not quite there. Separation of 200 meters, I will gladly take that. So let's time warp up. Let's point in our target retrograde. All right, now we can time warp up. Physics range, I'm warping down just so we don't fly by it. Let's actually try to get a little closer. There we go. Down within a little bit. meters per second. This is have yeah this is real docking ports thankfully. Two hundred meters reduce speed a little bit more. All right, we're very, very close. I'm going to cancel our relative velocity and then... All right, target is zero meters per second. I'm going to switch over here. Oh, these lights are on. Um, I can't actually even see... Oh, there it is. Now let's control from here and set that as target point over at it. Switch back over. It keeps our target, thankfully. That's a new thing of 0 0.23.5, which is really, really handy. Um, so let's point directly at it and just go up ever so slowly. I'm going to turn the RCS on and just do that. And if we control from here, the docking alignment indicator will not come on for some reason. There we are. Going in for final approach. I'm going to slow down just a little. Our alignment is kind of wonky. Magnetism should take effect. And we are docked with a really, really simple Docking. What is even in these? Struts? Pipes. Okay. Well, let's take Ethan out. And quick save. Turn on his lights. Um, go over to one of these containers. Open. Grab a pipe. And let's attach that down here. Uh, I didn't mean to grab that. Let's tore that. 
and open and grab the other pipe. And attach that right there. Those are now linked. We can transfer transfer resources through those. However, the docking port will still not allow us to. Open this, take one of these struts. And let's strut the side opposite from that. Let's attach that here. We're apparently getting quite a bit of radiation, but I'm not sure if that does anything yet. Hopefully not, otherwise I might be killing you. <laughs> and then let's attach this right there. Where'd that go? Um, I might have just placed that inside that other part. And my cat is meowing at me. I'm not quite sure why. And then we can kind of cross-link them. There we go. And those should be good now. So let's grab this board and let's turn RCS off and point this north. Now I was smart and these will actually be able to um, we can decouple that and remove that at a later point. Unfortunately, I didn't put a docking port on it, but I'm going to quick save, do some fuel transfers and stuff like that, and then I will be back. All right, so I have redistributed some of the materials. You'll notice this is completely filled with waste and out of food. Uh, this is completely full. This is the only one that they are currently drawing from. And I will have to come up here and restock this at some point. Uh, probably decently soon, in a, probably about a day, six hours and one minute, when the research on the creature comforts experiment is complete. At that point I can also bring up more kibble because this will definitely be out of it. Uh, this. All of these are completely empty, and I don't... I think I'm just going to leave them attached for now, and then detach them at a later point. Um, probably the next time I send something up, it will have to dock to this docking port. I'd like to bring up a, um, a an adapter so I can have more sprawling out instead of straight like this. I'd also like to bring up a real science module instead of one of these. Just the normal two or three ton so stock science module. Um, but yeah, so Ethan and Maximum are now... Ethan and Maxim are now both up here. Ethan will be controlling the lathe probe when we finally get around to doing that. Um, but until then, it's just a matter of sitting here. I'm going to shut down these engines just for fun. That way no engines are active at all. Lights are on. I think here don't really need to be anywhere. Um, so that's pretty much it for the zoology module. And I don't really know what else to do right now, except perhaps... Let's just go back to the moon and see about finishing up all the stuff there. Chances are it's not ready yet. 
It's a D-class asteroid orbiting. That could one day hit Kerbin. Nothing else too fun in terms of asteroids, it seems. I should rename that for sure. Moon Explorer Probe. Kind of stupid name for that. That actually is almost in the daytime. Let's actually take a look at it. Yes, we are gaining electric charge, but just barely. These are, in fact, in the sun. <laughs> very, very, very barely. Well, sun exposure 0.95, actually. That's not the worst. And the shadows are moving very, very quickly for some reason. So I'm going to probably go back to trying... Um, trying to fill this, and then we will see about maybe getting this back into orbit. Uh, so I will see you soon. So, <laughs> I've run into a bit of an issue. This has no connection, and I can't seem to fix that, because I forgot to extend this antenna. So I'm not going to actually have a connection again until the moon comes all the way around to about here-ish. So I kind of screwed that up. I might end up just changing the persistence file so that that is extended, because it's kind of stupid that it isn't. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to wait about a day for this research to be done, which is kind of useless. So I'm just going to end this episode here. Sorry if it's a little bit short, but thank you all for watching. I'm Mike, aka TheMagico13. I will see you all next time. Thank you